Uncle Chunt. Hey guys, Uncle Chunt here. Uh, I'm using a different kind of camera for today. This cam uh, this is my phone and this is a Rode video mic. Hopefully it's not too scratchy. It's been a bit dodgy, but it's the best I can do at the moment. But I wanted to share this. So today I received my Dreamcast. That thing right there is my new Sega Dreamcast. Or new used, used Sega Dreamcast. So I gave it a bit of a brush over. It's not, it's pretty good color. Like it's white. It's, I'm still kind of convincing myself if there's actually yellow in there or not. But I'll do some, you know, B-roll over the top of here. Just some close-up shots. And the controller, I gave it a good toothbrush scrub uh, with some detergent to get rid of all the gunk out of the, the gaps. Um, just out of the sides here. You know, people that have controllers over the years, uh, all the gunk gets in there. And um, that's a pet peeve of mine. I clean my controllers pretty often. I, I, I can't pick up grubby controllers. It's just disgusting. So yeah, I got this good, a good deal. I didn't come with any games. I'll get, that, get to that in a moment, but um, 120 bucks. Uh, controller, um, the jump rumble pack, I think it's called, or rumble, can't remember what it's called, but this is the vibration thing. A lot like the Nintendo 64 had, and that just goes in the bottom there. So you'll probably see, notice straight off the bat, some sim similarities to um, the Duke. This is the old Duke controller here. So this original Xbox came out after the Dreamcast, right? So Sega kind of folded in. Xbox was the next big fish in the market um, and you can see there's two compartment ports on the Xbox controller and on the Dreamcast. Uh, this one is for like memory cards and uh, the Xbox uh, microphone chat headset um, and you can see similarities in the controllers, the colors of the buttons and whatnot. Um, yes, uh, there's a lot of history in this. I might do a video on it between Dreamcast and Xbox down the road. But I just wanted to give you an example here. And the extra part in the uh, Dreamcast is the VMU. Um, so the VMU, uh, the virtual memory unit or some shit, is, <clears throat> it's a memory card, right? And it comes with a, a cap. So you can see it's got a screen on it and extra controls and whatnot. So this works a lot with like uh, virtual games um, that you can download as part of uh, legit games that you've got on the console. Uh, when you're playing on it, the VMU will display some stuff on the screen here through the controller window, just like logos or whatnot, or stats of your character or some shit. Um, and when you're out and about, uh, the popular kids, they would put the cap on, take it out, and it's like a virtual like Tamagotchi kind of thing. That was a big thing back in the day, kids. And you can play mini games on this thing. Uh, but it also doubles up as a memory card when you've plugged it in. And you, if you get two, you can join them up together. Like I've got two here. That's the other cool thing about this deal. It came with two VMUs. Um, so you can get the two of them and transfer data between the two. Uh, if you've got friends or just between your own, you can just transfer them between the two without having the, con the console turned on. And that just goes in, goes in the top. So you can see that. Uh, and it came with a, a fishing rod controller peripheral thing. <laughs> so there's Sega Bass Fishing or something on the Dreamcast. I'm not sure if there's any other games that was a fishing game besides that. I haven't quite looked into it. Yeah, <laughs> it just came with the bundle. I didn't actually go out. It, this wasn't the reason I bought that bundle. But I was just like, oh, that's cool. You know, <laughs> the main reason I bought this bundle is because it came, like the controller looked in good condition, came with the rumble pack. Um, and it came with a VMU, but then I realized it came with two, so that was extra awesome. Uh, and the, the console looked in good condition, wasn't overly yellowed. I'm still, as I said, I, as I'm looking at it, I think I see yellowing in the front, but I can't be sure. I looked at it under the light, it looked fine. Maybe I'm just paranoid. So, mind the setup a bit. Um, I'm in the midst of packing up my place, uh, and I sold whatever this setup was sitting on. This is just a shelf on the side. Anyway, so I'm blabbering on. I'm running out of space on this camera, so um, I just wanted to quickly set it up. Dodgy setup, whatever. And uh, the games it came with. Uh, so the initial deal, it wasn't coming with games either. None of the, it didn't have games. But the, the guy sent two games in it, right? And they look like this, like back to front, in in this plastic, plastic slip. And I was like, oh rad, two games. Holy shit, I didn't read that part of the deal. 
So I read the bag. Um, free games might not work. <laughs> so I had a look at the discs and um, they're like split and cracked uh, around the, the middle ring. Uh, and um, you can't make it out too well, but the discs are like pretty scratched as shit. See the giant crack in the ring there. Um, so look, I don't know. It's probably not a good idea. They scratched as shit and cracked and whatnot. It's probably not a good idea to try play this in my uh, console I just got, but we'll turn it on see what happens. Now that... Oh! So you probably can't see that. No, you can't, can you? Oh, hey! Hell yeah! So that's blue. So that's PAL. The PAL, like Australia, Europe and all that, they had the blue swell. Um, you can see on the controller as well on the top. So that beep that you heard before, that was um, the VMU turning on because there was no internal batteries. All the internal batteries are dead. Um, so it wasn't the console stuff and up, it was just the VMU. So we know it works. Cool! Alright, so we'll, we'll try to put in a game. So, these games are pretty cracked as shit and scratched up heaps, but... Hopefully it won't break apart in the console. I'm gonna put in Sega Rally. Nah, so that, that disc is unreadable. <laughs> Well, go figure. I'll take that out. Sega Rally can get fucked. Let's try some Soul Calibur. So you can see, like, cracks in that ring right there and scratch the shit out. But I've got Sonic Adventure on the way, so it's no big deal if these don't work. Just hopefully they don't rip apart my uh, my console. Then it'll just be a um, display piece. Oh, we got some success, maybe. Oh, shit! I can't believe this one's running. Success. Oh, there must be some data on the card as well. Right, so you can see... Alright, this will be a good opportunity. You can see on the VMU, Soul Calibur logo appearing there. So that'll change depending on what the game does. So that's pretty cool. Go 60 hertz. Oh, damn. Rad. We have console. Skip Soul Calibur. Holy shit, yeah, man. Welcome back to the stage of history. Fuck yeah. Well, so we know that works. Neat. Okay, so there we go. That's my um, that's my Dreamcast. I'm so sorry I got one, man. I've always wanted one. It was the one console I've never had or tried. Just need to get some games for it now. Sonic Adventure is on the way. Keen to give that a go. I'm going to pick up a legit better copy of Soul Calibur. Um, probably some Power Stone. Uh, Shenmue, I'm going to try and find that uh, for a good price. Um, Jet Set Radio. Uh, I'll probably get that. Or Jet Grind Radio, depending on what part of the world you're from. Yeah, and a couple others. Look, there's some good games in there I never got the chance to play. So this is going to be cool. Bit of a hobby. Um, Particularly since uh, this year modern consoles and games for 2017 aren't amazing for me. So I'm keen to delve into this. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think of the Dreamcast. Pretty cool, I might do a history of video later. Um, between Dreamcast and Xbox, very interesting history. Anyway, I'll keep it short. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Uncle Chunt and toodle loose. Thanks for watching this video, I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe and check out some of my other recent videos. Have a good one. Oh, psst.